Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today now we're going to be doing a little bit of an upgrade on the Defender. I'm going to be changing out all my LED lights as well. New lights for the Defender. I mean, I've got LEDs on there now at the moment and uh, they are super, super bright anyway. There's nothing wrong with them at all. So I just fancy something a little bit different for the old girl. So the plan is to take most of the LED lights I've got off here. I'm going to be changing the side lights, indicator lights. I will change in the stop tail or the brake lights reverse light and fog light i've got some new leds so they're really they're really something else i haven't had a good look at them myself yet i've had a i've opened the box and had a look and i but i haven't plugged them in to see what they're like but i've been assured that they really are really bright so coming to the back of the defender obviously then you've got your stop tail lights you've got indicators obviously and then you've got your fog lights and then obviously then you've got your reverse light on the other side so yeah, I'm completely going to be changing all them for something a bit different. So the plan is to just remove the one I've got already and put this new upgrade of LED lights. I think it's going to look stunning on the Defender. They are really nice lights that I've bought. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to fit them. So what do we get in the kit? So what do we get actually in the kit? So I've got the box in front of me. So let's open it up. I'm going to have to put it down on the ground. So like I say, I haven't actually opened these, only just opened the box and have a look at them. So taking the polythene off for the first time, trying to drop these as well. So there you go guys, let's have a look. So these are, that is the reverse light. You do get a, a plinth with it as well. Uh, I've got plinths on the back, I've got aluminium plinths on the back of my Defender already. So. We'll see if we need to fit them or these will need to be fitted onto them. We'll have a look at that. But that, that is the light. Really nicely made, chunky as well. Probably hear the chickens on the farm there as well. But uh, yeah, they're all E-marked and dotted and what have you. But they're really nicely made. Basically plug and play on the connector there, look. Straightforward. Got a indicator light, so we we'll take that off. And just a little baby brother of that. Really nice. Obviously then plug and play. I think that is a side light. I think that's a side light on there. So plug and play. Come with all um, stainless steel fixings and screws and whatever. You might use the original ones that's on there. But there's no need to um, go out and buy stainless steel screws or anything like that because they come with them, which is a good thing. Supposed to be all waterproofed and sealed and what have you. I think there's a 12 months warranty with these as well. Park next to a farm, uh, taking the Land Rover out for a little spin. Obviously in the countryside, not far from where I live. And we've got a couple of chickens. Or if you're watching in Australia, a couple of chucks. Yeah, but they're gonna look really nice. So there you go, that's your fog lamp, the red dot in the back. I mean, they all look the same, obviously. So with these, I think what, I, what I've seen pictures of is that this, this outer lights up and this inner part lights up as well. So I think when you've got your lights on, there you go guys, this is the stop and tail or brake lights as they say. So basically you've got your three wires, got your standard plug there as well. But yeah, I think on these, what I've seen of pictures as this part here, all this lights up and the center piece lights up as well. So what we're gonna do now is uh, head back home and get these fitted. I do fancy a bit of chicken. Right, it's, uh, next time you see me, I should be at home maybe not wearing this same clothing maybe i'll have something different on because i'm filming this early in the morning got some nice blue sky here today there you go nice little kit for upgrade for the defender right i'm gonna take the old ones off and get these fitted on so let's take this off no light here take this uh, polythene off. All right, let's have a little look. All right, yeah, that looks really smart. All right, I'll screw that up and we'll start doing the others.
There you go guys, the front ones are fitted, just go to the bottom indicators and then we work on the back of the Defender to fit the rest of them. But let's, uh, let's have a look what they're like when they're on. There you go guys, I've just been in to make myself something to eat. I'm very good at making things actually. Made this curry pot noodle. Let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, pot noodle is. Uh, it's gotta be the curry one, I think, for myself. Um, chicken and mushrooms not bad, but I think, I think it's gotta be a curry one. Right, let's get on fitting these lights on the back. All done, and they look really nice. So the truth will be when it's dark, then you'll get to see what they're like. Here we go, it's the back of the Defender. So yeah, don't forget to check out my uh, latest video on my ladder. Fitted a nice uh, ladder on the back from Safety Devices. Go and check that out. So yeah, hopefully now I got these aluminium plinths. Uh, so the uh, fog light for this one, hopefully it'll fit on there. We'll give it a go anyway. So let's uh, take these ones off and get those other ones fitted on. Take this one off. Right. Let's have a look at the difference between the two. So I'm not sure if these are going to fit in this. We'll try it now, actually, while we're here. I'll just try that in there. See, it may not fit. No, I don't think it's going to fit. It will go on, but I think there's a bit of a bit of a gap I don't think it's gonna seal properly so so I've decided actually to take this off and actually fit the plinth that comes with the new lights just makes it so much easier than trying to faff around with this too much but I won't get rid of these these are nice aluminium bezels so I'll nip this off and I'll catch you up when I have fitted it back on with the uh, new bezel that comes with the LED light kit There you go, I've put the, uh, the plinth on. Just gonna get this connector out, put that on. There you go. So just the right way around. So I'll fit onto there. So I'm just gonna get some screws now to screw that on because they're slightly different screws to what I had already on there. But that don't look too bad, uh, black. I mean, obviously I've taken this one off. Uh, I'll probably keep, keep this plinth, to be honest with you. There's nothing wrong with it but uh, it'll need a bit of figgling for me to get that on there properly, to sit properly. So, uh, I mean, it'll be handy for another vehicle if I ever decide to get another vehicle. I'm after a double cab Defender, eventually, maybe. So I've got enough spares for another Land Rover. Right, so we'll bolt that, screw that up together now and do this one and the uh, stop and tail light. So we'll do the indicator one next. So I'll just get some screws for that and we'll make a start on that. But that looks, uh, that looks pretty good for a fog light. Uh, let's say I'll have to fire them up later to see what it looks like. There you go guys, that's the rears done on one side and they look so different and I'm really pleased with how they look. Really bright LEDs in them and just a totally different look for the Defender as well. So I'm gonna crack on with this side and uh, then I'll show you when it's all fitted. There you go guys, straightforward job and they look absolutely fantastic.
one set of brand new style LEDs fitted to my Defender. So let's go and take a look at them and see what you think. There you go guys, brand new LEDs fitted to my Defender and they're absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how bright they are and they make it look so new as well. Um, I'm over the moon, yeah, they weren't too bad to fit. They're straightforward enough, just plug and play basically, but they are super bright. So you've got your side lights, you've got your indicators, you've got your stop and tail lights at the back, you've got your fog and you've got your reverse light as well. And they look really modern as well. They look almost like similar to the new Defender. So there you go guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram as well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one